Hello, I want to tell you about a pressing issue that threatens the very heart of our beloved rainforest in Panama, open pit metal mining. I'd like to start by explaining why this is so harmful to our rainforest and their biodiversity. Our rainforests are not just ecosystems, they are the lungs of our planet, teeming with biodiversity, including countless of endangered species. Thousands of unique species, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth, inhabit these forests. Open pit mining tears through these lush landscapes, leaving lifeless craters. The massive machinery, chemicals and explosives disrupts the delicate balance of nature, destroying the habitat of countless species. But it doesn't end there. These mines release toxic substances like mercury and cyanide, as well as heavy metals, poisoning the air, the soil and the water, while producing massive amounts of waste. According to the Canadian company First Quantum Minerals, there is no pollution, no use of river water, no use of pollutant agencies, and they do not discharge water into the surrounding rivers or sea. But we know this is not the case. This pollution knows no borders. It extends far beyond the mining site, affecting the entire ecosystem. Can you imagine what happened with these toxic substances? They seep into nearby rivers, contaminating our water supply and causing irreversible damage to the ecosystem. Now, imagine the current impact of the open pit mining. Giant machines are cutting through the rainforest, disturbing the habitats of countless creatures, birds, mammals and reptiles. Thriving here face displacement and often death. Some argue that open pit mining also creates jobs and economic growth in Panama. It is true that Panama needs jobs and economic stability. However, the short-term economic benefits are outweighed by the long-term consequences. Rainforests are home to unique species found nowhere else on Earth. Once they disappear, they are gone forever. And jobs often prove to be temporary while the environment will suffer long after the mines have closed. Can you imagine the devastation and pollution that exists in the Donoso area today? What it will be like in the next 40 years? We must support the people's call to reject the mining contract that seeks to ban the total destruction of Panama's most biodiverse areas. Did you know that the boundaries of the Donoso protected area, where this mine is located, were reduced by the Panamanian Ministry of Environment, eliminating 40% of the protected area, around 242,000 acres of rainforest. In fact, some of the excluded areas are within the current concession and the additional concession pending for metal mining in the area. This process poses a risk not only to Donoso's exceptional biodiversity, which is part of the Mesoamerican Biological Corridor and an important corridor for amphibians, mammals like jaguars and beautiful birds like the grey green macaws, but also becomes a risk for key water sources for communities in Panama. We must remember that biodiversity is not only about having beautiful and unique creatures, it's about preserving the health and resilience of our planet. It's about preserving the delicate web of life that sustains us all. We must consider alternative ways to support our communities and preserve our natural treasures. Ecotourism and responsible forestry practices can provide jobs and stable long-term economic growth while protecting our forests for future generations. These are the best ways to support our communities and ensure their economic well-being we must explore and implement these alternatives and find a better way to balance development and environmental protection. For some, it's a tough choice, but we cannot ignore the harm that this mining is causing to our forests and the creatures that call them home. It is not too late to choose a path that protects Panama's irreplaceable biodiversity. We had the power to make that decision.
Let's unite to protect our rainforests and the valuable biodiversity they harbor.